to HGTV Handmade. The last two weeks have been all about our tiki party, so definitely check those out if you haven't seen them yet. But this week we are back to just normal DIYs. So a problem that I have is that I really like to do my shopping online, but then I end up with this giant stack of cardboard boxes. And I feel bad just throwing away so much cardboard all the time, so I'm always trying to think of new DIYs that I can do to use up some of those boxes. So today the project that I have for you is how to recycle an old cardboard box into a really cool hexagon tray that we're going to decoupage onto to make a really pretty design. So the first thing to do is to choose your piece of cardboard. Board. Ideally, you'll have a piece of solid, flat cardboard that's bigger than the size that you want the bottom of your tray to be, without any folds or dents or anything like that. Now, I did not have that. I had to make my tray over a fold, but ideally yours will be totally flat. So now it's time to draw out your shape. I'm going to be making a hexagon shaped tray, but you could do a square, a pentagon, an octagon, whatever shape strikes your fancy. So to draw a hexagon, just break out your math class protractor and draw some angles that are 60 degrees. Extend those lines out and then measure up the same distance from the center. For the larger tray that I made, I measured up 7 inches from the center and then for the smaller tray that I made, I measured 4 inches. And then just connect those marks and you've got yourself a hexagon. Use a craft knife and a ruler to cut it out. And then since my hexagon ended up with a fold in it, I actually cut out a second hexagon and glued them together just to make it a little more reinforced. But if your piece doesn't have a fold or you don't think your piece of cardboard needs it, that step is totally optional. So now it's time to cut out the sides. Just the side how tall you want them to be. I made mine two inches. And then the length of each side should be equal to the distance that you measured from the center. So mine is seven inches. So just draw out a grid of rectangles and then cut them apart. When you have six evenly sized rectangles, warm up your hot glue gun and start gluing them to the sides of the hexagon. Make sure that they line up perfectly on the bottom so that your tray isn't all wobbly. And the first one probably won't feel very secure but once you get the second one on there and you attach the two of them with a little bit of glue, it'll feel a lot more sturdy, and then the rest go on really easily. And just one more tip, use your finger to wipe away any excess globs of hot glue, because when we decoupage over it, that'll just look kind of messy. So once all of the sides are attached, just use your hot glue gun to fill in any gaps on the side or on the bottom, which makes it a little more structurally secure, and it also means that our decoupage isn't going to be dipping into those gaps. So you could always just leave it like this or paint it or you could decorate it however you want but I decided to decoupage some napkins onto it. Napkins actually take really well to Mod Podge, and they come in all sorts of fun designs, and they're really cheap, so you can make two or three trays out of just one packet. So the way that you decoupage is you just take your Mod Podge and you brush it onto the cardboard, and then put your napkin in place and cover the entire thing with another coat of Mod Podge. You can cut apart the napkins if you want to overlap the designs a little bit more, and just repeat this over the entire tray. You should be generous with your Mod Podge to make sure everything is fully covered and not peeling up. So either get a new container of Mod Podge for this project or just get a really big tub of it like I have. So pro tip, if your tray ends up totally covered in wet glue and you can't really pick it up to work on the sides, just put it on top of a couple cups to lift it up so that you can finish working on all of the sides and just kind of rotate it. Just work your way around the entire tray, making sure you cover all of the cardboard. And then once you have the entire thing covered, you might just want to give it a second coat of Mod Podge just to really protect it. So let it dry fully and then you're basically done. For one final touch, I added a bit of gold gilding paint along the top edge to give it a little more shine, but that step is totally optional. So now you can put it on a side table or a coffee table or wherever you want just to give your stuff a little more visual interest and another pop of color. You can make these in all sorts of sizes, like this smaller one that I covered in magenta napkins to get this really cool texture. One thing though, these trays are 
only meant for display and should not be used to carry anything heavy. It is made of cardboard, not metal, so I don't want you filling it up with a tray of drinks and trying to carry it and then have it like fold under the weight and it spills everywhere. But if you just leave it as a decorative piece, nobody will ever guess that you made it yourself out of old cardboard boxes. So honesty hour here, I do have one more step that I wish I had thought of to do if life had an undo button. The Mod Podge does make the white spots on the napkin pretty transparent, so there are some parts where you can see the brown cardboard through the napkins. I don't mind it so much, it kind of just makes the tray look vintage, but it would have looked a bit brighter and a bit cleaner if I had painted the tray white before I started gluing. So if you have white paint on hand and you're decoupaging a light colored design, you might just want to learn from my mistake. But I love how these trays came out and I hope you like them too. Let me know in the comments what shape you would make or what pattern you would want to put onto yours. And if you want more cardboard hexagon goodness, I actually made these cardboard hexagon shelves last year. So you can watch that video next and then just fill your entire room with beautiful hexagons. Alright, don't forget to press like and subscribe and I will see you all again with another DIY next week. Bye everyone!